What's going on YouTube? Daggerath here. I uh, just wanted to show you another camp that I've made. Um, inspired by Japanese artists on Instagram, Facebook, uh, etc. I just happen to really like their style of housing. Uh, I guess it's like Asian style. It's in, found in Asia, a lot of places. Not just uh, Japanese, but uh, you know Chinese and other um, Asian cultures. I'm not very good at it, so I'm not going to claim to to know. But let's uh, let's take a look. So as you can see, we have a uh, miler hunter that uh, isn't supposed to be there. But we'll take him out. Uh, I really do like the lights. Those are the um, uh, what are they called? Cage bulb lights. Those lights, I really like them. They really add a nice, uh, it's not too bright, but really show the roof lines from afar in such a misty area. Um, comes down out of the river here. We can take a look on the map. Gotta be careful of the crocodiles, of course. <laughs> well, is a now that's some good robotics right there. Fascism. Completely waterproof. So the floor is all protected by the roof, the wood floor. And these are actually the Brotherhood of Steel uh, walls. Just very like a stucco concrete look that I was looking for, and I didn't want to use the double wall look because uh, it does take up a lot of budget. I'm a couple of clocks there to make some sort of wall art. I uh, thought that was pretty neat. I saw something similar to that. And uh, I made it my own. Stash box hidden up top. Oh, we have company. Always good to get a little action in these uh, walk around videos. Uh, I also did the ceiling, you know, the floor uh, ceiling pieces like that up there. Because uh, I thought the style was pretty neat. These are those lights uh, of cubes. Uh, just a lot of plants. Really keep it a uh, tranquil feel. Uh, my favorite little spot because you can you can see the uh, waterfall and the crocodiles and uh, that that nice lighting that Todd Howard talked about in Fallout 4. Some of the best sound effects that they ever did was the popcorn. It's all above, you know, above the water, just barely enough. It is on the wooden platforms because I do think that you know like because of the dock like water has to pass underneath it's got to make sense in my head you know <laughs> I'm sure as, as many of uh, you do as well out there who like to build you have some uh, parameters some guidelines you set for yourself but uh, that's really it for my camp um, oh yeah one more thing put the, the things that weren't so friendly to the camp hidden. Now I know a lot of people, hidden rooms are something that people do in their camps all the time. It is nothing spectacular. Um, it is, you know, something everybody does. And it just didn't fit with the uh, feng shui of the camp. So just stick them up here, false roof down there. 
Um, you might also notice the roof lines are a little off from each other, like this roof is a little smaller than this one. Uh, actually, at the start with this roof here, the center roof all the way down to the bottom with doors and delete them and leave it floating and then build the roof and then build up from the ground again. Yeah, it was a, it's a bit of work, but you know, you try new things and you just get better and better. So uh, that's it for my, uh, for my camp. I hope you all enjoyed watching and uh, have fun building.